Beam of Love seemed like a surprise for the fans. At what point did you all decide to make another one? Well, it was a surprise for me too. I mean, I'm just grateful we had the opportunity to shoot a second movie. I was grateful to shoot one movie and, and the fans loved it. So they gave us the opportunity to shoot a second one. And, and yeah, it was kind of short notice for us too, but we just jumped on it. And yeah. And what was it like um, reuniting with Bella Thorne for this film? Since she's, you know, been in TV and film since she was a child, did you learn anything from working together? Oh, hundred percent. She's an amazing actress. She's so natural. She's so talented. And just working with her was a great opportunity for me. And um, yeah, I just seeing her on set, the way she handles things and the way she does things, it's, it, was, it was good for me to learn how to be an actor because, you know, uh, I just started this career and there's a lot of learning to do. There's a lot of experience I still have to make, but she was definitely uh, a help to work with. For sure. Is there anything specific that she taught you about acting? Well, one of the first things she told me was kind of funny was, it was it's funny because it was my first scene of the first movie. She told me just breathe, you know, because I wasn't breathing. Literally, I was so tense, so tense up. And, and she just helped me to learn how to be more natural and just, uh, be in the moment, be present, which is fundamental, you know. So Time Is Up marked your acting debut, as you noted. And since you had a movie under your belt, was it easier shooting this film? And like, how did the experiences differ? Well, it was, it, I wouldn't say it was easier because I feel like uh, the first movie, uh, I tried my best. And and obviously when you try your best, you can be happy uh, or ha unhappy of the result. But I was happy because I was like, you know, I... I really did for the time I had, you know, I did all my acting lessons. I did all my preparation, athletic preparation, everything. So I did my best. And for a second movie, I just wanted to step it up. So it's, it's, it wasn't easier because I, my goal was to always step it up in my, you know, in my crafts and, and learn. So it, it was, it was different. It was challenging in different ways. Yeah. And Game of Love includes several intimate moments between you and Bella. Um, because of your mm -hmm. chemistry, did those scenes come easier? Or since you're acting in front of a crew, did you get nervous or, you know, anxious about shooting those scenes? It's kind of funny because, yes, yeah, so people expect that, you know, because of, you know, uh, the story or because of uh, relationship with the have actor, uh, yeah. it may be easier. But the truth is it's it's very awkward when you have, you know, 10 people in the room filming and audio and, and cameras everywhere. And, and you have to be very intimate. I, I feel like it's never going to be uh, completely comfortable for anybody because it's, yeah. you feel, you feel this eyes on you, you know, it's in you sharing a very intimate thing. So, but, but it's part of, you know, it's part of the job. So we, we get it done and it was, it, it probably was much easier with Bella than with anybody else. So Roy and Vivian reconcile at the end of the film, but it's unclear what happens next. Are there plans or would you want to do a third film? I, I mean, there's right now, we don't have plans on a third film, but I'm open to it 100%. I mean, I loved working on this project. I feel like uh, both number one and number two was great fun for me and fans loved it. And I hope they're going to love number two as well. And I don't know what this, the future reserves for for us, but I'm, I'm open to the idea of a number three. Absolutely, I'm here. What do you think happens to Roy and Vivian? Or what would you like to see happen to Roy and Vivian moving forward, whether or not there's a third film? I, I can't say that. I feel like, I feel like God has a plan for all of us. I don't know what he has for Roy and Vivian, but I can't really say that. I have no idea. I just, I just really hope for both of them to flourish in the best version of themselves on which doesn't mean just the happiest it means also you know because we people go through sacrifices people go through hard times but those moments make you if you are able to overcome them they make you stronger to make you a better human so i just wish for Roy and Vivian to find their best expression of themselves yeah that's a great answer i love that so this movie features so many gorgeous filming locations. As someone from Italy, did you know the area? Were you able to act as a tour guide at all? Do you have a favorite spot? I come from the world of music, so I've toured Italy a lot. And I, I had been to Sicily. I actually had never been to the area where we sh shot the movie because it's a very specific area. Yeah. It's uh, near Noto. And uh, 
I was surprised myself at how beautiful it was. Like I'm Italian, I, I've seen a lot of my country, but you know, you, you have, I had I hadn't seen every single part of Sicily, and and it was just amazing. And I'm so glad we were able to showcase this, showcase it in the movie. You know, it's I think it's a great a great advertising of our country to the world. So it was it was great. It was uh, discovering the area for me too. Obviously, I'm part of the culture, so I was helping uh, Bella and other actors to feel at home there but you know doing my best and but at the end of the day i feel like everybody enjoyed it and the food was amazing the place was amazing so yeah last question so one of my favorite scenes in the film was the masquerade party ball yeah um take us through filming that scene did you have dance rehearsals or anything were you a fan of your regency era costume yeah it was fun because you know putting on a costume for a movie and, and having a change in the scenery like feeling like you are in a different uh, time and age was a lot of fun and and i i loved everything about it i it, the only the detail that's kind of funny now to say is that i was wearing these kind of heels like um, men heels like boots yeah. <laughs> and and i i i hurt my back uh, dancing all day in those heels and it was a hell it was hell but it's part of the job you know it's part of the job but it's kind of funny because i see the movie now I'm like that was like i love the end result but yeah. i was my back was <laughs> but you know now you know for the future if you ever have to wear shoes like that again i mean i, I i'm i'm gonna avoid them as much as possible but if i have to do it i just gonna do it <laughs>